Today I'm going to show you the fundamental differences between an iron over a driver. It's the same swing, but they feel very different. A big warm welcome back to the channel, guys. Today I want to talk to you about the differences in irons and woods. I've had a lot of people message me saying, Stuart, I'm doing great guns with my irons. I've made some big changes on the back of a few of your videos but I'm still battling the driver or the wood. Well, today I want to give you some key thoughts into why that might be. Let's talk about the iron. The iron shot is different to the driver in that we are aiming to create an angle of attack down. When we create an angle of attack down, the shaft lean is neither here nor there. When it comes to Trackman or when it comes to the golf ball, what it's trying to feel, the only thing you are looking to create is a head that is descending towards the floor. Now the reason why I reference the shaft lean is neither here nor there, because I could have a handle forwards and create a club head bottoming out on the way down. I could have a handle behind the club head and I could still create a club head descending on the golf ball. And I'll demonstrate. So there's the shaft lean that I've created. Then I'm going to strike one. And over in the bottom left hand corner, we can see that the angle of attack was four degrees down. Then we get the next golfer on the mat. He's an early extender of the golf club. He casts the golf club. He gets his body ahead of the golf ball and yet he still creates a downstrike at nine degrees. Oh my goodness, I just cast the golf club and I still created an angle of attack down nine. That is why if you're working with TrackMan, if you're working with a radar, the angle of attack will not give you a definitive guide on whether you're creating an angle of attack down or not. Because I, as I just demonstrated, there was the unload, there was the cast, yet the club still hit down on the golf ball at eight degrees. So shaft lean does not set whether you are hitting down or not. Shaft lean, you could still have shaft lean forwards and yet we could still have a golf club rising up through strike hitting the angle of attack track man didn't get it let me give that a go again so handle forwards the club head is still rising up through strike thinned it because that's how you what you would expect the head is rising up so i just created shaft lean yet the head rose up at 7.2 degrees Therefore, shaft lean does not set whether you are creating angle of attack down or not. That's another story and that's another video going to come your way at some point. And incidentally, there's only 40% of you that are subscribed to my channel that are watching this content now. If you've enjoyed my content and I've helped you with your game, share the love, send back a little bit my way and subscribe while you're here. It would be really, really appreciated. Iron play, the key to good iron play is to have a descending club head, which is what I just demonstrated. There are two ways of doing it. So when we're hitting golf shots, to make that golf ball feel the loft of the club face and to feel the loft of the golf club, it needs to strike somewhere between groove two and groove five on the club face. A lot of golfers will tend to hit the golf club on groove six, seven, eight, or nine, which is way too high up on the face. You get a clunky feel, you get high launch, and you get low spin, and just general nastiness. So the, the, the ball feeling, the loft, needs to come from around groove two to groove five. And again, that comes from a decent angle of, a decent angle of attack in someone's golf swing. So as I'm moving, to create that angle of attack, the handle down at the bottom here 
is being pulled through strike. Now, if you've watched my broom drill, when I pull the handle through strike and I move the handle back in, look how the club head lines back up. So when I'm pulling, I'm creating down. I create down to create the contact. If I've got a club face that is very close to being straight with a good grip and the ingredients that I've talked about in many of my other videos, you'll end up with a golf shot that's going relatively straight. Now the problem that we have when it comes to the driver, if we keep pulling the handle and we create more shaft lean, and the reason why we actually create more shaft lean with the driver, and I see it more than any other club in the bag, and you get it with people that have an angle of attack of minus one down or zero. When they get to driver, their angle of attack is at minus four, minus five, and they go, how on earth can I create an angle of attack with my driver better than my irons? And that's purely because the lever is longer. And when the lever is longer, the club gets pulled, as it does for everyone. And whether you think that you don't pull the club on the way down, honestly, I promise you, you will be pulling that golf club. As, as light as you feel like your arms are, as much as you're trying to turn, you are pulling the golf club. And if you're not pulling the golf club with real venom and with real intent, you are missing a trick. You must pull the golf club from the top, and that's a video that I've done, so do go check that out. When we pull on the golf club, and because the lever is longer, as we pull on the golf club, this club sets more, and because the ball is further forwards in our stance, invariably golfers rotate more, and we end up with more shuffling. And because of that, because of the golf ball further forwards, you end up with a club face that invariably is a bit more open. Even with a strong hold, you can still keep pulling the, the golf club, and I'll hit one, you can keep pulling the golf club so you arrive with shaft lean. Even with a strong hold, you end up with a golf ball that carves its way out to the right, and you can see I've hit down there at 5.3 degrees because I've pulled the golf club, which is what you do for the lion's share of your shots with irons. But with driver, we must make the pull phase and the stalling and the braking phase of the handle occur in a really quite a short space of time. So when you're at the top and let's say you've got your left arm 10 o'clock or whatever you want to call it. I've got until that point there and that point there to accelerate the handle and then slow the handle down so that I can pull the golf club, it loads the, the lever and then the head must swing. So pulling and unloading the lever then becomes a huge influence on being able to square the face up. Whereas where we're with, a dry, with an iron shot, when we take the golf club up to the top, this, this gap that I just talked about with the, with the driver is now much longer. I can keep pulling the handle way over here because if I keep pulling the handle, I'll keep creating shaffling, which is what I want with an iron because I'm trying to hit down. So I don't have to worry about the braking mechanism of the lever to make the lever then swing. So with the, with the iron, the lever pull looks more like this, continuous. You can see how I got around the corner, handles moved back in, got around the corner, which has helped square the face up. I can keep pulling on the handle, keeping the pressure down underneath me with my TheraBand, and if you haven't seen it, you need this drill video. I keep the pressure down, I keep moving the golf club around the corner, and if I can, with my left hand, pull it around, move it down. You can see how I can create a down strike. Trackman didn't pick it up. Let me have another go at that. So I keep pulling on the handle, I move the handle around 
and back in, and that creates the strike down, which is creating the angle of attack at 8.8, .8, which is, you know, it's obviously too much, but it works with an iron because I've got loft on it. With the driver, if I was to do the same thing, the thing wouldn't take off, obviously. So all of a sudden, there's the pull, there's the braking mechanism that the handle now must feel like is being overtaken by the club head. And so the difference between what I just did with the iron, which was pull, keep moving, pressure down, now I create force in the floor, now the difference is there's the pull, the body can keep on unraveling, but the handle now breaks and the club head now swings. And so the difference being is there's the pull and there's the swing. Oh, there we go. That's not so easy with the driver, obviously. We'll leave that in though. There's the pull and there's the swing. There's the pull, there's the swing. And all of a sudden, it'll allow me to create flight in the driver. So this time, I'm going to do it with two hands, so it's a bit easier. There's the pull, there's the swing. The, the pivot, the body, the lower half can still unravel, but what I'm doing through my handle is a different sensation to unload the lever. Pull, unload. Pull, unload. And you can see how it all of a sudden makes it all line up, gets the angle of attack right. So whilst it's exactly the same golf swing, the handle is still moving out, down and in, but what the head is doing is now being able to unload and catch up because I've reduced the amount of acceleration with the handle down through strike. Look, the lever is longer, the lever is shorter. The longer the lever, the more the braking mechanism must occur down through strike for the lever to keep unloading. You can still keep accelerating your body, but you've got to be very conscious of what the lever needs to do. Now it's longer, and now we need to create more of an upstrike. I hope you found that useful. If you've enjoyed it, do hit the like button, and I think you'll find that's good coaching. Thank you.